I mean, he said what he's basically it. saying. Hope you titled it, A Sellout's Opinion. Let's see. I watch it, no, though. Clayster. Wow. My thoughts on the negativity surrounding IW. How to be a sellout with the James Clayster Eubanks. What's going on, you guys? This is Clayster. Bring you guys a YouTube video. This one right here is a little bit of a rant video, something I've been wanting to talk about. Something that I've been wanting to address ever since the game came out. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll get right into oh, it. Folks is uh, nice. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about was the surrounding negativity about Infinite Warfare. I've been uh, reading on Reddit a lot, reading on Twitter a lot, a lot of pros have been voicing their opinions on the game. And I just kind of wanted to make a video to talk about a few of these things, at least talk about why I feel it's an overreaction and why I feel it's a bit circle jerky. So let's get right into it. Number one, people are saying that the advanced movement, it needs to be boots on the ground. Nope, well, the game was started in development during Call of Duty Ghost. Like, during the middle of Ghost, the game got put into development. And I really think that this three-year cycle, okay, so they didn't even have an advanced movement game yet. They had Ghost out, and then Advanced Warfare came out, and then Black Ops 3 came out. And then during Black Ops 3, that's campaign where all this was started. hate started coming from. A.k.a. pre-production, a.k.a. ideas. not wanting to play yeah. another year of advanced movement. It's understandable. I understand the argument. I like boots on the ground Call of Duty better. I've won eight tournaments in, or nine tournaments in boots on the ground. I think eight or nine tournaments in boots on the ground COD. And I've only run like three or four on advanced movement ones. I enjoy and I think boots on the ground COD is better. This isn't what the video is about. The game was in development for two and a half years before any inkling of advanced movement hate was out there. Boss. What are they supposed to do in the middle of Black Ops 3? Scrap two and a half years worth of code? The hate was out in the beginning of, of AW, so false. That's not how this works. And all they started was pre-production of campaigns, billion, but yeah. Billions of dollars worth of companies that have plans. They have business plans. They've set out I these rule the world. Imagine that. Movement. I'm sure Search back in like Black Ops 2, uh, this is the type of thing that yeah. a business as a whole has to like plan for. They can't just scrap that thing. That is so is everyone's it. saying like, oh, oh we need boots on the ground. Uh, I get that. Uh, I can almost guarantee you that the next COD will probably be boots it's on the ground machine, because basically it's the next sub. cycle of games. They you have? have this plan uh, out OSA. Like, Go paddock to your left. What are we just getting? Remove it. Number that one. That makes no oh, sense. Defend the objective. A lot of the maps Did you even see what my emo was? No, no, I was too far. Oh, it's like the guy rubbing his fingers like he's got money. I have that. Core component of the game. Oh, grind the pups out. What I think happens a lot oh, of times is people think that just because I know these people at Amazon, like I'm not hitting B flank real quick. That I'm somehow uh, well, you don't see one B, I don't see one A. You impeded my bomb? Back B. I got one to back B. Uh, I'm playing B. Like a middle? Iterations of Infinity War games. This is now my fifth one. Cod War, MW2, MW3, Ghost, and now this. I play all of these games at a high competitive level. I understand. I was in. Just a disclaimer: the Cod 4 and MW2 Infinity War were not and are not the MW3 and Ghost uh, and IW Infinity War play. So you can't really know. say that. The studio had two life cycles with completely different employees, completely different directions, completely different studio heads. Less than 10% of the team destroyed. that was probably there in COD 4 is there now, so you can't really say that Destroy it's another iteration of that same company. But we'll keep acquired. going. How Infinity Ward has been in the past. They flew a bunch of us pros out there to get. You can't say that about Infinity Ward in the past because 90% is a different Infinity Ward. We times, so we definitely weren't able to go in depth with it too much, but that's what these few weeks are leading up to the first event in MLG, or at MLG Vegas. It's. It has nothing to do with me getting paid by Activision. It has nothing to do with me making any money from Activision. This has nothing to do with that. All this video has to do with is trying to help you guys understand that what you're doing, being negative, being pessimistic, is only hurting our scene as a whole. You're probably right, but People it's deserved were to watch at this point. All their favorite pros, watch everybody that they know talk shit about this game and just trash it. Nobody's gonna watch it. People parrot who they hear. If they are a fan, if of they wouldn't have made a shit game, we wouldn't have to worry about that to begin with. Parrot what they hear. I'm not trying to have you guys and just parrot what everybody else is saying. I'm trying to help you understand that you need to think for yourself. Understand no what one's has saying that. There's just a lot of people who can think for themselves and know for themselves that the game like blows. It's not we have to play this game for any longer than a year anyways. Every game that we play is only for one year. That's the only influence we have Up's is up. to play that one game for that year. There's nothing else. The fact that we were even...
even went out there and like flew out to Infinity Ward and they had us out there and I know like the spawn guy and the lead developer now and the MP developer. Yep, I knew them all in 2014. Like, these I did the I same now. shit to them. They didn't change Infinity anything. Ward. I know Treyarch people. I know Sledgehammer's people. I went there after I won champs in 2014. Talked to them. Then, nothing I said was implemented. Nothing anyone on our team was that said was implemented. They don't care. They're extending this olive branch to us and we're just literally shitting on that. We're burning that olive branch for no reason. People Not really. Have all these fucking problems with the game. They have all these fucking problems. The the rigs are OP. We played with a flamethrower. We played with an instant nuke stun grenade. We played with a we never should have. Chained as far as possible. We were bitching then we too. With kinetic armor. I've done kinetic more in IW than I've ever done in Black Ops 3 the entire time. I don't think I killed a kinetic guy in Black Ops 3. Then you just two suck times. and couldn't get a headshot. Legitimately. Alex, you getting excited too? Regardless, what I'm trying to get across to you guys is that we played with this stuff in Black Ops 3. We played with specialists that were super overpowered. Super overpowered. The rigs in this game aren't that bad. They've already made camo more visible. The, the guns aren't even that bad. You get them one to fight the game to maximum. If you have a gun, it, I, I had a hard time getting the equalizer like one time on our scrim. A full scrim that went like 250 to 240. The whole scrim I got it once. And I was going off. They're not that bad. One of the next things people have a problem with is the maps. The maps are bad. The maps are Did horrible. Did anybody forget what maps we played last year? We were playing Redwood. This round is okay. complete. Let Adjust me, your Redwood was a one game type map. Behind B -bomb, sniping over it onto B -bomb, so you can't cross bridge or plant B -bomb. Don't one get started type. on Naga's sick, insane three piece on Optic Gaming in the CWL where he wall ran under the trees and Redwood. One map. The next following round 11. This guy, this guy brings up maps, but he only can wave. use one map. Where all you do is Search press your bumpers. There's none of that in this game. What do you mean, Clay? You just said maps. You just complained on, on one map? Why Clay, you complained about one map in Black Ops 3. Year, 11 of these maps blow. When we actually have How are you going to complain about one map and one one game and type when we're talking about every single map or every single game type blows? We have the, the Fringe was a good map. We have the support of the Evac would have been a good map if it didn't have the outside wall runs. Stronghold was an okay map. Why weren't we yeah, getting the other maps? I don't even know. But this year it's Infinity Ward, so we're allowed to, even though it's way How less the other maps like, prevalent. Frost needs to go as a map. I don't think it should be played because of the high on the wall run. Mayday, same thing. When you take those two maps out, all the other maps don't have that type of what else. Like, high wall I don't even remember the Black Ops 3 maps. Runs, all that stuff. There's none of that oh, Breach was good, except for the maps. fact that in SD sure you could wall run high. And I'm sure these the things that are unintended by the site will be fixed. Now, I'm not saying this game is perfect. The maps are, are all perfect. awful. The spawns are not perfect. They're just as bad. Do we forget about the grandma spawn on fringe or the train spawns on fringe or the walking spawn on evac on the third heart point? Like, we just forget about all this stuff in the past and we're applying it to this what? game day 10. Day 10 the worst in the world. Yeah, Black Ops 3 was awful. AW was awful. All the maps that you're listing in these jetpack. Why is his comparisons all jetpack cards? Why can't he bring up one normal game? Compare it to Black Ops 2. Compare it to Ghost. Compare it to Black Ops 1. Compare it to MW2. Like, he's, com he's comparing it to fucking jetpack games, which we all agree were fucking terrible. That's the reason we're all pissed off, is because there's another terrible game with jetpacks. It's mind blowing to me that people are jumping to the conclusion and just circle jerking each other the entire time about the maps, the rigs, the spawns, when all of this has been worse in past Call of Duty. No, it has not. It's and not and the, the biggest if issue is why we're complaining is because guys, we're dealing with shit. it again. If you want the to be fixed, because we shouldn't have to, Clay! That's the problem, you big fucking doofus! We shouldn't have to do that. Yes, we are. We are wanting to hate the game because the game is its third year of an another awful game. We shouldn't have to fix the damn game fucking after it comes out. We shouldn't have to deal with another shitty game. This shit should have been scrapped. This shit should have been fixed eight months ago. Not, oh, let's just drop the fucking another jetpack game, which everyone fucking hates, and we're going to do it anyway, and then we'll try and fucking fix it later. Like, that's why people are pissed off, Clay. Why is it that hard to see?
The reason people are pissed off is because we shouldn't fucking have to do any of this shit. We shouldn't have to find fucking shit that should be fixed. We shouldn't have to figure out all this bullshit. We shouldn't have to fucking look at all these shitty maps and be like, alright, which ones are the fucking the least shitty of the other shitty ones and compare to other shitty games? No! We've had shitty games. This is another shitty game. We shouldn't continue to have to have Boss shitty games. Acquired. That's why people are pissed off, and that's what you're not getting. What? Let's keep listening to this retail. I'm gonna not lose all you, bro. Oh yeah, then making three what shitty fucking games is hurting us as a scene. Uh, is that is that the Dude, Naga, how are you one in oh and eight? Hello, Nagafin?